Today we are looking at some words you will definitely hear if you're watching the news broadcasting Queen Elizabeth's funeral. The first word is morning, which is pronounced exactly like morning, la mattina. I, I can't really put it into words. As a nation, we're mourning the loss of the Queen, but... Mourning is the expression of sorrow, dolore, pena, cordoglio, for someone's death. In Italian, it can be translated with essere in lutto. Then we have to bury which is pronounced exactly like the berry, la bacca. To bury means to put a dead body into the ground. In Italian is seppellire. The next expression is to pay one's respects. This means to honour someone after their death, usually by going to that person's funeral. Careful, you do not pronounce the H in the word Honor. When we saw thousands and thousands of people come here to pay their respects to... You probably have heard this expression several times this week in lines such as huge crowds have come today to pay their respects to the Queen. In Italian it can be translated with the expression rendere omaggio. Now we're looking at two words that may be confused, historic and historical. But in reality they're pretty easy to remember. Historic describes something momentous or important in history. Historical, instead, simply describes something that belongs to an earlier period in history. Days and historic moment. There's a sense of this, this being a real historic moment. Both these expressions are translated into Italian with the word Storico. The next expression is to lie in state. To lie in state means to be laid in a place of honour for the public to see before burial. Do you remember the pronunciation of to bury? Here you can just apply it to the noun burial. To bury, burial. In Italian we can translate this as essere sposto nella camera ardente. Non abbiamo un'espressione particolare che equivalga a to line state. Now we have a sentence. The coffin is draped in the royal standard. I've heard this one this morning on the news. So the coffin is la bara, so is the container in which the body is held. To be draped simply means to be covered by a cloth, un drappo, whilst the royal standard refers to the flag which represents the British monarchy. So you would translate this sentence as La bara è rivestita e ornata con lo standardo reale. Procession. We all know what that means. It is a line of people who are all walking in the same direction, especially in a formal way as part of a religious ceremony. But you need to pay attention to the pronunciation of procession. The first vowel sound is a schwa. Pr. Pr. Procession. And not pro. Pro procession. I hope this was useful. See you next time. Bye bye.